this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a technique that I like to call the color pop effect, and it's also referred to as an Orton effect. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start over in the Layers panel. I'm going to make sure that I have that background layer active, and then I'll duplicate it. I'll do this quickly using the keyboard shortcut Command or Control J. Now with that new layer active, I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I want the blur to be just enough to really start to remove the details in the image. The radius number that you use in your photograph is going to vary, and it really comes down to the image size and resolution of your overall photograph. In this photo, uh, it looks like somewhere in the 40s is a good number, so I'll go ahead and stick with that and then click OK. Now over in the Layers panel, I'm going to change the blending mode. I'm going to change this blending mode down to Overlay. But you could also go with Soft Light for a little bit of a more subtle effect. I usually stick with Overlay, and then I drop the opacity down. I'm going to set the opacity somewhere in the 30s, and here I have it set to about 34%. So I'll go ahead and toggle this on and off and see how that looks. And you can see it adds a very nice kind of a contrast punch of color to the image. And this makes for a really great finishing touch for color photographs when you're editing them inside of Photoshop.